Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing another episode of Watching the Grassy Junior High and we're going to be doing the last three episodes of the season. I'm so excited. Okay, episode 11 is called... I'm so excited I can't eat. I don't even have it up. Episode 11 is called Trust Me. Episode 12 is called He's Back. And episode 13 is called Past Tense. Before we get started, let's address the elephant in the room. My background. It looks a little different. I moved some things around in my apartment. And honestly, if we're keeping it a stack, I don't like it. I... It, it, it doesn't it, it looks a little chaotic don't you think so i'm gonna change it i'm just a little too lazy right now to you know change it back but it might be like this for the next couple episodes or next couple videos so i'm sorry if you guys really hate the back if you, have, if you really hate the background please tell me because that will motivate me to go ahead and move it back Other than that, yeah, it's gonna be like this for a while. Don't judge my laziness. And also, yes, you are finally finishing season two of the Grassy Junior High. I think I held up a three, it's definitely two. This has been a really good season. I actually like the season a lot more than the first one. I know it's been a hot minute we've been doing this season. I don't like it. I'm using my desk again. I haven't used this desk to film in months, probably a year at least. So like, I'm not used to having this in front of me. So I'm, I might keep hitting my thing. <laughs> Y'all don't care. Y'all don't care. Just just do the video. Yeah, we've been doing season two for a while. I actually looked it up. I started it in December of last year and it's now July. I'm sorry it takes so long, but y'all know I'm trying to branch out and do a lot more on my channel. But as you guys know, Degrassi is my mainstay. Degrassi is my bae. Degrassi is the OG, triple OG. It ain't going nowhere, so don't worry about it. It might take a while, but we're gonna get through it, trust me. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started, but before we do, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. Subscribing is free as hell. I don't even need to say anything else because y'all already know. And let's go ahead and get started. They leave four o'clock Friday and they don't get back until four o'clock Saturday. I'm staying at home. Party! Yes! Uh, yes! Guys, Apparently they're gonna throw a party at Snake's house. Y'all already know, the grassy parties never like just happen and you know, have a good time, go home and you know, maybe talk about it the next day. The grassy parties always ends in someone, you know, probably getting stabbed or... <laughs> Why is that? I'm not laughing at that. Someone either gets murdered or gets high or you know, gets caught doing a little sucky sucky in the boiler room. Grassy parties never go right, so let's see how this goes. Never too late to start beating our time. Okay. Home. Did y'all hear that? Someone is popping firecrackers. It is July 6th, okay? It's two days after the 4th, and also it is bright as fuck outside. What is going on? Hi, Mom. Hi, Derek. That was your optometrist phoning to confirm your appointment for Saturday at noon. All right. Not all right, young man. You missed the last two appointments. They'll charge us if you miss another. Would y'all judge me if I don't know what an optometrist optometrist is? Is that something with your eyes? It can't be fireworks. It's gotta be gunshots. I live in a hood, low key, so like, not surprised, but why? Yeah, and what about her year? How's she gonna pass? Well, there's one place that you can help. Spike will be finishing her year. At home. Why are they like talking about this like she's not in the room? <laughs> like, this is kind of weird. Your parents left their car. Yeah, so? Know where they keep the keys? Yeah, they're in the kitchen, why? Joey, wait a second! I hope they don't go for a draw ride because it's giving me flashbacks to when Craig, Marco, and I believe Spinner went on a joy ride and Joy was heated. How are you gonna be so mad when you did the same thing as a child, you know? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Did he really have to make those sounds and those noises? Okay, here we go. Oh. All right. Get that joy. Come on, let's okay. go. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, slow. Let's go. All right. Hey. Why would you put the window down? You're trying to be all in disguise and inconspicuous. Would you put the window down? First of all, Joey, why do they let Joey talk them into stupid shit? Because I feel like he's the only person that does that. Snake, I feel like it's just, I'd be forgetting that he's like a child here because he just looks older and he sounds exactly how he sounds in the next generation. I don't know. I just feel like this is... This could have been avoided if Snake would have, you know, put his foot down, you know? Uh, see you later. Careful. 
Watch out for the baby. Watch out for the baby. Don't hit the baby. Lord Jesus. <laughs> What's the name of this episode again? Trust me. It makes sense. Joey's like, trust me, I can drive. But he's driving like he's literally playing Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto wasn't even out yet. He's he's innovating, honestly. Oh no. Oh no. What happened? None of this ever would have happened if it wasn't for you and your crazy idea. What happened? I don't even see what happened. <laughs> Well, we'll have to keep on calling him until he gets home. It's your only chance, man. He's got to be home by now. Give me a quarter. Damn, you remember he had to go to the payphone to call people if you weren't at home? Bruh. 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 We love the advancement of technology. We love these things. As much as we hate these things, we love them. Whatever possessed you to take the car? That was Snake's father on the phone. He called to thank you for fixing his taillight, which he broke last week. Oh, it was already broken. Wow. <laughs> that is so stupid, but so funny. I love that. I love that. This episode was pretty boring, but I love that the fact that they got caught because they fixed, <laughs> they fixed the taillight that was already broke when they took it. My parents are confiscating my keyboard. What? But that means, yeah, the zit remedy's over, man. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. All right, that's the end of episode 11. Um, I actually really thought the episode was not that entertaining until like the last 10 minutes. Like I thought that the fact that they got caught because they fixed the broken tail light that was already broken. I think that's so clever. I don't know. I don't know why I think that's so clever. B plot with Spike being kicked out of the grass is girl. Girl. She's kind of an innovator, honestly. First pregnant girl at the grassy. He's gonna, you know, be an innovator because there's gonna be so many other pregnant girls. At least they don't get kicked out. Yeah. This episode is pretty mid. So now we're gonna go to episode 12, which is called He's Back. I don't know who's back. Who's back? Who left? Speaking of back, you know who I miss? Queen Vula. I miss her so much. LD, he needs you. You're all he's got left. Come through Vula with the wisdom, with the message, with the advice, with the positivity. I wish she was in season two, but who's back? I don't know who could be back. Let's see. Hi, Mr. Colby. <gasps> oh my God, I can't watch this again. I cannot watch this again, I can't, I can't. Girl, I don't know if I can handle this again. I literally don't think I can because if you remember, this was like the episode two, I believe, or episode one. That was episode two. My reaction to what happened back then, all the way back in December was probably the most like, the most intense I ever felt watching a Degrassi episode. I could not keep myself together, so I'm like, do I want to watch this again? If he's coming back, he better be arrested this time. I swore on everything. Call the popo ho. Call the popo on this hoe. Hello, Doris. Gross. Hello, Lucy. You remember Mr. Gross? He'll be taking Miss Avery's place. Gross. You know what? Oh, I just got a notification. My Uber is outside. I, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Class dismissed. Do people ever do that in like middle school? Imagine me leaving my middle school class being like, that was an awesome class. I learned so much. I would never do that. Ugh, I hated middle school. Ugh. Middle school, worst three years of my life, hands down. Ow, I hit my hand again. Susie Rivera, right? Right. Well, Susie, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Thanks. No, Susie, you gotta be smart. You gotta be a smart hoe, please. Please, Sus. Please, Sus. Why not do a collage? Well, that way you don't have to leave any of it. What's that? I'll show you. Uh, no, stay in your seat, bitch. Stay in your seat.
She is literally running throughout this entire school. Oh my god, girl. We used to be friends. <clears throat> All we did was talk. If anything had happened, you would have told someone. <clears throat> and you didn't. You have to watch that imagination of yours. Kick him in the balls. Please. Susie. Be careful around Mr. Colby, okay? Why? Just be careful. What are you talking about? He's very nice. And at least he's helping me with the yearbook. Oh my god, of course she's not gonna leave him. You know, the typical trope, the person who was assaulted or harassed, trying to warn someone and they don't believe it. God. Good night, Mr. Kobe. Good night. Good night. He has on that same, that's the same sweater, I swear, the same one he was wearing when he was with Lucy in the last episode. Not the last one, but the last one he was in. Keep that door open, ho. Leave the door open. I think we should have two pages. These are really great pictures. Caitlin took most of them. She's really great, don't you think? Ugh. Don't be so tense. Please leave the door open. Oh, ah. No. <laughs> No, 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 I can't. No. Susie, stop. Jesus, Lord. You are such a creep. You better be glad this is the 80s and there's no cameras. You better be glad. I trusted him. Girl. I liked him. Get him out of here. Where's the police? Call the authorities. We woo, we woo. Mr. Colby's gone. What? I heard from Garth. He called in sick. They're getting another substitute. Talk about depressing. What a punk bitch. He knew he was about to get exposed. We still have to report him. Why? He's gone. He'll just do it to somebody else. We'd like to see Mr. Lawrence, please. It would have to be very important. It is. Yes. I, I want to be there when he gets locked up. I want to be there when those popo come, put them handcuffs on him and put him in the back of the car and make sure his head hits the little thingy. Don't like put his head down. Let his head hit the top of the car. Ugh. All right, that's it for he's back. Um, He's back. And he's gone. I don't even know how to feel about this episode. So <laughs> I mean, it was good, but woo, ciao. Okay, next episode and the last episode of season two titled Pass Tense. Lego. If I don't pass this one, I fail my year. Wheels, you only need 51%. Any bozo can get that. Somebody's gonna get left behind. Who's gonna be the person to get left back? Is it gonna be Joey? That's gonna be too good to be true. I only knew a couple people in school, especially middle school. I feel like it was a lot more prevalent in middle school where people got left back. I always felt bad for them. I always feel like, how do you like, I mean, I just figure maybe something going on at home or something. Like, how do you feel so bad that you have to do the great? I feel like it's a waste of time. I feel like everyone should pass. <laughs> like girl, imagine like doing one grade for like eight months, however long school year is, and you have to do it again. Like, if I had to fail any grade, it had to be 8th grade, because if I was to fail 8th grade and come back, no, because then the 7th graders would know me. I was going to be like, oh, all the 8th graders are going to high school, so no one's going to really know you, but I'm certain 7th graders will probably know you. I don't know. I I never failed a grade. I was actually supposed to skip a grade, but my mom wouldn't let me for some odd reason. Well, at least they're letting you write them. Yeah. Good luck, honey. Thanks. Christine? I'm really proud of the way you're handling all this. Thanks. 
a mature queen. We love to see it. I've always liked Spike, even in TNG, even though she's kind of irrelevant, kind of a little slow at things. <laughs> like with everything that goes on with Emma. I never disliked her. I only don't really like her acting in TNG. And then that, she's cool. Where did you put the quotation marks in question five? After Emily said. Oh no, I got that one wrong. So did I. Chapter 10, quotation marks are used to enclose direct quotes and certain titles. What about question two? The semicolon goes ahead of the list, right? Right. Can't believe this. Neither can I. Blah, 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 blah. Shut up, know it all. That was always the worst though when y'all like finished taking a test and then everyone's talking about what they did and you like on the corner is like, I didn't get that right, I didn't get that right, I didn't get that right. Y'all, I was a good student though, like up until like, I don't know, I don't know if I ever talked about this. I think I did in my like I regret college video, but if you guys know what the IB program is, I I don't know if it's nationwide in America, but it's like AP classes, but even harder. I took that ninth grade, 10th grade, and 11th grade, a little bit of 11th grade until I transferred schools. Bruh, IB was hard. So I was like literally like a BC student, occasional Ds. But once I got out of the IB program and took normal class classes and like, I not IB, but AP classes, I was getting straight A's. The only B I would get was in any science class. Physics, anatomy, I hate science with a passion. We all get to stay together next year. Isn't that wonderful news? Due to shifting population patterns, the high schools are full, so they're adding a grade nine onto the grassy. <laughs> Look at them explaining why everyone's gonna be back for season three. I love that. I mean, they did the same thing for Degrassi and TNG, so I'm not surprised. So unfair. I have no problem with an expanded Degrassi. Way more fish in the sea. So that was their explanation for why the grassy became like a high school too. I love how excited Doris is though. She's like, we're gonna be together again. You're gonna have grade nines. <laughs> Joey, I passed then. Thank you, Mr. Raditz. Uh, Joey's gonna get left back. We feel that it would be in your best interest to get a better grounding on the core subjects. You, you mean I flunked? Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I don't feel bad. I don't. Should I be like emotional? Hold on, let me get a tear to come out. I can't. I don't feel bad. And they don't care. I care. Forget it, I'm not playing at the stupid dance. I thought you wanted to be a star. How you gonna be mad because you flunked? Like, girl, ain't nobody tell you to not study. Ain't nobody tell you to always be playing around. That's how I feel about Joey. Er, talk to the hand, because the face don't want to hear it. If y'all hear anything in the back, I had to turn my air on because it's so hot. It's like literally, it's 90 degrees. So, I can't, I can't, I'm about to die. Everybody wants something. Bro, the claps aren't yeah, matching up yeah. to their actual claps. Like, who edited this? Hey, what's wrong? Is it the music? Is it the baby? Call my mom. Quick! They ended it there for the season? Her just about to give birth? That's a good cliffhanger. Even though I wasn't really a fan of this episode, personally, I feel like last season's finale was a lot better. But I mean, I don't mind this finale. This was pretty good, not gonna lie. All right, y'all, that is it for this episode of rewatching. My phone is going off. Yeah, that is it for this episode of watching Degrassi Junior High. Season two as a whole, I really enjoyed. I liked it a lot more than the first season. The first season was really good as well. They had a lot to live up to and I feel like it did. Started off with a bang. It kind of ended off with a bang as well with that creepy ass teacher coming back. I'm excited to see how season three goes. So we're gonna have the ninth graders be a part of the grassy junior high season three kind of weird i still really don't know who's all in what grade i believe joey got kept back so he's still gonna be in eighth grade i believe will snake the twins who knows stacy not stacy Susie, and i think lucy are all going into ninth grade while caitlin 
No, Caitlyn and Susie are in seventh grade, going to eighth grade. The only seventh graders I know is Arthur and Yig. And I think Scooter, of course. I don't know. I don't know all the grades, but yeah, I'm excited to see how season three goes. And yeah, that's going to close out this season. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys so much for keeping up with the season. I know it took a long time. I appreciate you guys nonetheless. I am a lazy ass bitch and I am working on my consistency. And make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.